Hey Scorpios, how are you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in here. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can contact me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com, okay? Everything you need to know about booking your reading is below in the description box, okay? So if you don't need a full reading, maybe you have one or two questions you need clarity on, then um, we can do that as well, okay? So yes, be sure to reach out, okay, guys, if you need a reading, but please do read the description box before you send your email, okay? Now, let's come over here to the left with uh, some past energy. You guys know this is a general message, okay, so it may or may not be your situation, but we have the lovers, the uh, seven of pentacles, the high priestess, the will of fortune reversed, the ace of pentacles reversed, and also the eight of wands reversed, <clears throat> excuse me, so... Some of you could have been dealing with a Gemini here, okay? But, you know, regardless of whatever sign it was, you know, the lovers represents, you know, lovers. <laughs> Two people being together, uh, in a, you know, either a uh, marriage, a partnership. Some of you here, maybe it was a friends with benefits type of situation. Maybe it was just uh, based upon sex or something. But, you know, at one point it felt good to both people, whatever was going on here. Okay, and I see that somebody was still willing to invest here with the Seven of Pentacles. All right, this is about investing and waiting too. Okay, maybe waiting on somebody to get their act together or to choose you or they were waiting for you to choose them. Okay, because the lover's card is about choices. All right, um, it could have been some sort of divine connection. Okay, between the two of you, a soulmate type of uh, vibe going on here. All right, maybe even a telepathic one with the high priestess. But some of you here, this could have been in, uh, in secret. Okay, there's secrecy involved in as well as someone's uh, intuition being very strong here. Okay, some of you, I feel you could have intuitively known that you uh, needed to close out this cycle, but maybe you chose not to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe you're still waiting on this person. Okay, like I said, but the Wheel of Fortune reversed, you know, represents cycles not coming to an end. It also represents bad karma here. Okay, for somebody. And then also maybe a missed opportunity too, because we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So yeah, there was no new beginning here for some and maybe blockages as well. Okay, frustration with this person, you know, um, with that eight of wands reverse there. All right. Maybe even travel delays. Maybe you guys lived at a distance or, um, somebody could have actually got blocked here. Okay. Online or something, but, uh, let's move here into the current energy. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got the six of cups, the 10 of wands reverse, the five of cups reverse, the seven of swords, the two of swords, and also the page of cups. So, yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with soulmate with the Six of Cups. And um, probably, you know, this person could be someone from your past here, okay? And I feel that you're missing them or either they're missing you. Maybe it's the both of you, okay? Because, like I said, this is a telepathic con uh, connection for some of you. So, both of you are probably, uh, you know, um, bouncing vibes off of each other, so to speak. If you can, you know, understand what I mean by that, which means that, you know, both of you can kind of intuitively pick up each other's thoughts here, okay? Uh, whether you know that or not, I do see that here for some of you, okay? So both of you could be missing each other <clears throat> and um, reminiscing here, all right? But I feel as though the connection is um, a burden for some, okay? Some of you, very challenging this connection was or is because we have the Ten of Wands. It's reversed, so someone's letting go here, okay? Um, and overcoming something, but, you know, we have the Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, so I think that somebody felt like they lost something at one point, okay, whether it was you or them, Scorpio, and also felt regretful and bad, you know, about maybe something that they did. And it's reverse. So it's like they want forgiveness. Others of you, I feel somebody here just doesn't give a damn anymore, okay? Whether it's you or them, somebody here just simply does not care, you know, with that Five of Cups reverse. Why? Well, because someone could have been being very sneaky here, okay, with the Seven of Swords, could be dealing with an air sign here, a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, but this is, um, you know, someone who's a liar, a deceiver, you know, runs off, sneaks off, um, you know, and doesn't care about other people's feelings or about how they hurt people, okay, this person here. And um, next, we also have the Two of Swords. So this is the energy of someone ignoring something, ignoring their responsibilities or avoiding something here. And someone's being ignored is what I strongly feel. Someone's reaching out. And um, they're being ignored by the other person, okay? Because next we have the uh, Page of Cups. 
This is about a love offer as well as an apology. Okay, some of you may feel as though this person, whatever it is that they're offering you, you may feel like it's not enough. Okay, I feel that strongly for somebody here. Okay, um, and there's a choice that needs to be made, but somebody is not making it. All right. So let's come up here to the energy at the top. Okay, Scorpio. So this is intended to be your energy, but because this is a general message, it could be them at the top, you at the bottom, you know, a bit of both. You know your life, okay? I don't, so you know what will resonate with you, okay? So we have the Page of Wands reversed, the uh, Strength card, the Queen of Pentacles, the Temperance reversed, the Two of Pentacles, and also the Queen of Swords. So I see somebody kind of holding back here, okay? With the uh, Page of Wands reversed, you know, this is about blockages, okay? Maybe somebody, again, ignoring messages that are coming in, or others of you, I feel like you're fighting the urge to reach out to this person, okay? You're trying to be strong here with this uh, strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo, but this is about confidence, willpower, and strength, okay? Trying to overcome something and to begin uh, become stable again. Or maybe you're already stable, all right? With the Queen of Pentacles energy, you could be dealing with an earth sign too, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. But the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's got her shit together, okay? Somebody who is, um, you know, able to handle work life, home life, kids, all of that, okay? Uh, very stable and grounded. Others of you, I feel as though this connection has had you very uh, imbalanced, okay? Everybody's not grounded. Some people here are dealing with a lot of um, emotional imbalance when it comes to dealing with this person, okay? It could be a Sagittarius but, you know, this is about overindulgence with the temperance reversed, okay? So some of you could be drinking here or something that you're uh, dealing with to cope with this situation. That won't resonate with everyone, but there's an energy of imbalance, okay? And impatience too, all right? Because next we have the Two of Pentacles. This is about juggling, juggling two people, two decisions, maybe even finances here, Okay, a juggling act that's going on, but somebody's getting ready to cut that out because next we have the Queen of Swords, all right? This is about thinking very logically, um, thinking more, you know, with your head than your heart, you know, head over heart decisions here and, um, you know, cutting out what doesn't serve you, okay? And some of you, I feel like you could cut into this person, okay? Obviously not literally, I would hope not, <laughs> okay? When I say cut into them, I mean, you know, just like really give them a piece of your mind here, okay, to tell them how you feel or either to just, um, you know, let them know that this is not what you're about or this isn't what you want anymore and no thanks, okay, is what I'm seeing for some of you. Now, let's move down here to the energy at the bottom. So, <clears throat> they've got the Three of Swords reversed, the Hierophant reversed, the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Wands reversed, the uh, Four of Swords reversed, and the Magician reversed. Yeah, they're having some confidence issues for sure, okay? But, you know, the Three of Swords, this does represent third-party energy. You know, we all know that by now. Uh, if you watch tarot frequently, this can represent other people being involved, okay? Cheating and deception. It doesn't always mean that, though, guys, okay? This just can represent hurt feelings, okay? It doesn't mean that somebody was cheating all the time. This can just represent someone feeling offended here, okay? Their feelings got hurt, but they're healing from that, okay? And maybe wanting forgiveness. They want to heal the situation. Maybe they hurt your feelings, okay? And they want to heal this. Um, but next we have the Hierophant Reverse. You could have been dealing with a Taurus, but this is um, non-committal energy, okay? Because in the upright, this speaks about commitment, uh, marriage, you know, that type of thing. So maybe somebody's married here. Maybe that's one of the issues, okay? But uh um, I'm seeing selfishness too for some reason, but I think they they do want to offer you something because we have the uh, page of pentacles. So this is an offer, all right? But it's not much, right? It's a page. It's not like a king of pentacles or even the knight, right? This is a page. Um, it could be someone younger than you or children could be involved here with the page um, of pentacles, but this is some sort of offer, maybe a gift even, or some type of money, child support or something for some of you. But I feel that you feel it's not enough, okay? Or they could feel this way. Now, next, we also have the Three of Wands reversed. This is about blockages, okay? Delays, frustration, all right? Um, travel delays in particular for some. And, uh, you know, maybe you and this person live at a uh, distance here, but... Yeah, something's not going someone's way here, okay? We also have the Four of Swords reversed. This is about needing to take a break, a rest here, okay? Somebody feels very burnt out, 
and um this person i feel like they kind of feel like they want to give up okay to be honest with you because next we have the magician in reverse this is about lacking confidence but this person can also be a trickster a manipulator okay using whatever kind of tactics or um you know um deceptive uh ways here to get what they want so do watch out for that okay now let's come over here to some potential outcome energy so we've got the three of cups the knight of cups reversed the ten, the uh, world card reversed, the queen of cups, the four of wands, and also the ten of cups reversed. More third party energy, okay? This does represent other people, you know. Um, this also can signify coming together, okay? Reconciling, um, you know, having some sort of reunion, uh, you know, going out, dating, drinking, eating, <laughs> you know, having a good time together. But I feel it's going to be rejected, okay? Because we have the Knight of Cups reversed. So somebody does not want this. Somebody here is also very moody, okay? Very, very moody with the Knight of Cups and jealous, all right? So yeah, this person could see you having a good time. I don't know. Maybe they see you on social media or something or they hear about it through mutual friends or family or whatever, and um, they're quite jealous, okay, of you, Scorpio, to be uh, honest here, okay? Maybe because you don't want them anymore, you know, I don't know. But we have the world card next reverse. So, yeah, some of you have not gotten closure with this person, um, and it may not be coming here uh, in the near future, okay? I know you may not want to hear that for those of you that have been wanting closure. I don't really see it coming, okay, at least not to uh, your standard, okay, about uh, as far as what you expect, from this person okay um because some of you are very in love with them okay or they could be in love with you with the queen of cups here okay so um i'm also seeing where somebody somebody uses alcohol to cope here okay and i'm definitely not judging anyone i'm just telling you guys what i see but somebody has an alcohol addiction uh to cope with their um issues here okay I'm seeing sadness for some reason with that Queen of Cups energy because something is over and maybe someone didn't get any closure. All right. Now, next, we have the Four of Wands. So this is about a home life, a, uh, you know, communication, things being in alignment here. OK, so somebody I feel is wishing for this to come back and for you two to be in communication again. OK, for things to be back balanced, it, uh, you know, the four. I mean, yeah, the Four of Wands can also represent soulmate energy. OK, a very strong connection the two of you may have okay and um yeah this also speaks about stability all right now others of you we have the ten of cups reverse so this is about you know um someone not getting what they want emotionally okay particularly around a family situation all right so whether it's your own individual family or your you know your parents your extended family whatever you know there is a uh, breakdown here in communication as well as um you know, somebody, somebody's just not happy, okay, with the Ten of Cups reversed. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah. Um, somebody else, you know, for some of you here, I feel you could be downsizing, okay, with the Ten of Cups reversed and then um, maybe getting an apartment, okay, with the Four of Wands. I don't know why Spirit just said that. But, yeah, uh, yes, you know, that may resonate with some of you there. But, uh, yes, that's what I have. Okay, Scorpio, if this resonated with you, feel free to comment you know like share subscribe all of that i do um try to read your guys's comments okay so yes i do appreciate the feedback okay i get a lot of more love than hate <laughs> which is good so yes thank you go ahead and comment also if you would like to um you know book a personal reading you can contact me at clarity goddess tarot at gmail.com okay everything you need to know about booking your reading is below in the description box all right so thank you guys take care